It's always a challenge to teach your patients on how to properly contract the transverse abdominis muscle. So here's the way I like to do it. Have your patient first come into a hook line position, want to bend both their knees up. What I always like to do to, in the beginning is always have them find their ASIS. So I'm going to hold this one and allow you hold the other one. Okay, there's a little bone on your hip. We're going to take that bone and we're going to go about two inches toward your midline and about an inch or half inch lower. So we're going to, we're going to put some light pressure in that spot. Okay. Now that we have that light pressure in that spot, what I want you to do is draw your belly into your spine and kind of rock your pelvis backward like you're curling up your spine. Perfect. So do you feel your little, your, your, those muscles popping into your finger there? Okay, good. So you should feel that little biofeedback of the muscles popping into your fingers as you palpate there. So the first thing that I always have, have my patients do before we start really aggressively training and progressing the transverse abdominis muscle is for the patient just to work on their breathing. So I want you to just keep that tight, Alana, and just work on your breathing, making sure you keep that pelvic tilt and keep the abdomen drawn into your spine so you're really tight in those lower abdominals, okay? No need to contract the middle or upper abdominals, no need to do a crunch. This is all the deep, deep abdominal structure that actually wrap around your spine and attach to your spine in the back. Good.